Hello everyone, this is Dale Underwood with LeadLifter and today I want to go over a neat tool that we found that works directly with Echo Quote. And what it gives you the ability to do is from inside Echo Quote you can do Salesforce lookups and even add and update records. And the tool we're talking about is called EBSTA. You can go to EBSTA.com to download it and it's simply an extension to Google Chrome. So let me show you how we can use it. Okay, the best place to start is from the request that gets sent out by Echo Quote anytime a potential customer fills out a quote request. So as you all know, we don't publish or display pricing, but rather we route any request for pricing to your sales team. So this is a typical example here. Uh, people on the call probably recognize the EQ Action 1 means there's action required. In other words, this, this uh, gentleman here, Chuck Lohr, has just requested pricing and this is the email that's sent out. So there are a couple of things to note here. Here's the information that was provided by Chuck. It says he's in Ohio. Uh, here's his IP information. And if you come down a little bit, you'll see the action buttons here where you can actually view and edit the request. So that's what we're going to do is open his request. We have to log in. So this is the phone view of Chuck's request. So it's formatted for smartphones, but you could do full screen as well. But it's not necessary. All we're trying to do is do very quick research on Chuck, first of all, to find out if he's in our Salesforce instance as an existing customer. So the first thing to notice here is that I have this little red logo up here, and that's the EBSTA tool in my Chrome browser. So I know it's active. And what I can do is I can really select any text and just simply right click and do an EBSTA search and now I've preloaded my Salesforce login so this this bar up here tells me that it found a record for Chuck in Salesforce and so if I click on the icon it'll open a little dialog box it'll actually give me a direct connection into my Salesforce so I can look at Chuck's record I could actually convert him to a lead if I want create an account create a contact however I want to process him so that's one way to use it. I can also look up from account name. So here's Lore Associates. I could actually look this text up as well. Once again, select it, right click, and I found found Chuck. Okay, this is actually a very powerful tool because I can actually run this from anywhere in Echo Quote. So if I'm out on the main screen, uh, here's Chuck's information again. Once once again, if I'm researching him. And select that. Okay. So I've used that to find out the status he's in Salesforce. Uh, then I can kind of process it however I want. So that's a quick overview of how to use EBSTA within Echo Quote. Now let me show you how we add it to our browser. The first thing to remember is that EBSTA is an extension for Google Chrome doesn't work for Firefox or Safari yet anyway so all you have to do is open a Chrome browser and go to ebsta.com then you'll see that it works not only with LinkedIn but Gmail as well so it gives you a connection to Salesforce and you'll see the install button here if you click on that you'll get a small dialog so just simply add it to your uh, your Chrome instance so once you've added it if you look in your menu, drop down to the More Tools tab, you'll see Extensions. You'll see the EBSTA instance there, and it's enabled. So that's all you really need to do to enable EBSTA for not just Echo Quote, but it also works very well with LinkedIn and any other application where you can highlight text and right-click. Good luck, and have fun.